Everybody, John Neal here, uh, retired sign writer and calligrapher, handwriting tutor. I don't like calling myself all those things, it's just me. Anyway, thank you very much for all the comments I had recently. They've been fantastic and very encouraging, so I'm going to do another video. I must do some more. It's been a while since I did the last one. And um, one of the comments was about I described the letters from A to S in the alphabet and the way you might form them in sign writing. And there's been some comments about uh, handwriting and I've found some lovely examples which you've just seen um, on the introduction. So I'm not going to go through each of those but just observe the, the rhythm and the beauty of some of the writing there. Absolutely fantastic. So I'll put a few more up uh, later on. Um, but I'll go back over from the letters. I think I've got to do S. I've done S so I'll go, go Z through, S through to Z. Anybody in America that's Z, by the way, not Z. I know you call it Z. Still, whatever. <clears throat> and um, I've been busy lot with lots of other things, been away, been doing a lot of music, and uh, I've also been making um, some boxes like this. So uh, I've got a sale of these on in a couple of days' time. Um, so, uh, but there's lots of people doing videos about making woodwork and they're all much better than me so that's what I've been up to. So let's have a look at um, these uh, examples of handwriting. I'll, th I'll throw a few more at you. I think they're really interesting and there's one or two drawings there as well. Um, it was a fantastic day. It's at a, a local um, place. It's an old castle um, that goes back hundreds of years and it's been um, renovated to be part of um, uh, apartments that you would uh, rent for bed and breakfast um, and accommodation for the weekend. Really very nice. It won an award actually and the guest book was full of these lovely handwriting um, examples so I thought I'd pinch a few and show you. Now the second part. I was going to uh, talk about and demonstrate the letters uh, T through to Z, so R S T U V W X Y and Z. It's not many left to do, but T is an interesting one. So let's have let's get on with that. Right, the letter T. T. There you go. But uh, what I really like about the letter T is that it sort of stands like a like a column, like a, as if it's got a weight to it, which is fantastic. So um, basically, if you've got T, which is there and there, the downstroke would be thick, and the top stroke would be, obviously, the thin. And uh, the serifs, these are the serifs, to remind you, would be those bits. The serifs are the bits here and they would be the ones where the um, original Roman um, uh, chiselers, the masonry people, masons would cut into the letter to start it off and therefore get this beautiful sort of shape here. So the serifs go there. And the serifs can, can look, be of various types, you can even get them squared off like that and other forms also. Um, but they are important because when you put them on another letter, let's say like, just like that, if you want to put some blobs on as serifs, then they would go in the same place as the serifs would be. So they go there. And then as this one comes down, it might go slightly wider. It's got a sort of a, a waist to it here. Put a little belt on it. And then they would just beautiful, like almost like a tree, uh, have this sort of weight, and these are pointed serifs here. So that's the letter T, the capital T, at least anyway. Um, 
not much more to say about T I suppose so RST um, STU V W X Y and Z now the letter U I do believe the Romans didn't have a letter U they used V all the time but um, so if you're doing a U like that and a V like this let me do the two together um, the V and the U I would always probably put a downstroke next to the U there some might say that's wrong but um, it clearly indicates that it is a U rather than a V because sometimes they get muddled up but if not and you want to just go up and round like that that's good but it would be thick and thin and this serves across the top likewise the V a classic sort of Roman shape thick that way thin that way I'm just tempted for a moment to and no serif at the bottom here I'm also tempted to put the serif at the slider angle which is also interesting sometimes so that's the shape of a V and um, V what's next W oh don't you just love W W a bit tricky to do sometimes because um, if you're writing it or drawing it with a brush you've got to sort of in fact double up the V so there and there serifs only go there nowhere else and you I would generally point that and make that into a point as well so the W would go that way of course with all these letters you can even do variations like this if you wanted to um, likewise with the T and <coughs> you might even let's do, do T again but notice they go sort of wider if you went I'll do one which is wrong which really I wouldn't do this it's going thinner to the edge it looks like a t-shirt for goodness sakes so don't do that um, so there's a number of ways you could do it or even rounded which is nice a bit uh, Disney 1950s this um, so this is the most difficult thing to get these um, uh, shapes here have a look at newspapers and um, have a look at uh, TV or, or magazines to get a look at these shapes and copy them because um, the more you copy them the more you'll just learn what the shapes are right what else have we got X X well likewise if you think of the brush I've got one here look look at this baby now then if you think of this you're going to go thick and then that will go thin so that's thick and thin when you've got a big brush so uh, with an X which is going to be thick which is going to be thin that's going to be thick that's going to be thin and the serifs accordingly would go there right away on the four corners sometimes you see if you have a look you'll see the, that but this one will sometimes sort of go at an angle just to sort of balance it out a bit better or is it the other way up let's have a look up there down there and there but sometimes they don't actually cross in the middle like that they go uh, a bit like that but x you're not going to use it a huge amount but it does give you a chance if you're doing some calligraphy or other writing you can get this thick part here and then swoop it round if you've got x so if you're going to put xmas you can swoop that underneath now y is a bit more common you'll use y a bit more so and again just got to make out that I generally don't like to do that as a capital so if you've got the, the word York which is a city in good old England of course um, you might do that but 
I was tend to bring it straight down make of it and then the, this one down here the downstroke but it does give you a chance to sweep it around now the important thing here is that this is thick and so is the downstroke so that and the serifs would go there and there right now you could just chop that off and make it a serif that's okay or you can even take this down and swoop it round this way to finish the wire up like that so that's the Y and Z now then Z obviously we just got that so which is thick which is thin well strictly speaking that should be thin and these thick but I sometimes and would often do it that way around but you don't use Z very often so it doesn't matter too much if you're going to do it like this um, that's all well and good so a nice looking Z might look like this just got to work out exactly a bit like the N because that inside becomes the outside, the outside becomes the inside. But it's a nice opportunity to put some nice serifs on it. The only word I can think of at the moment is Zulu. And you could also got a chance if you do that, particularly if you're doing calligraphy, is to do a very nice sweeping um, decoration underneath there right cat hey, that's it that's the rest of the alphabet finished off for you so the whole alphabet let's just al al fa Finished. Okay, thank you very much for watching all this. And um, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and or like the page or go to my Facebook page too. But in particular, if you'd like to go to my website, which is here, da -da, and also the links below, um, gives you an opportunity to buy some of the videos that I've got. I've got two on handwriting and two to do with sign writing. And uh, they're being bought all over the world. and. Um, yeah, I'm very pleased for those people who bought them. Thank you very much indeed. So, um, anyway, until the next time, see you again soon. Bye-bye. I've run my race. i found my place. I'm on my way. I'm coming home. been quite some time I hope you don't mind I'm on my way I'm coming home 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 I'm coming home